Hey everybody, this is Chris Doyle at Alderman Chevrolet Buick GMC in Rutland, Vermont. Vermont's favorite car dealership where we're known for awesome deals and fabulous service. I want to introduce you to our newest addition to our parking lot here. This is the brand new 2022 Chevrolet Bolt EUV, not the EV, the EUV. So this takes its place right along the redesigned Bolt EV, but the EUV, electric utility vehicle. Uh, really nice, brand new design. Uh, just arrived here, so I want to give you a little bit of a tour, especially as it compares to the Bolt, which has been incredibly popular, especially around here. Slightly larger. You're going to have more room, more passenger room inside. You can see the nose is a little bit bigger, a little bit shapelier, deliberately so, uh, in the front for the car. That, uh, that Chevy design that I really like now that has kind of the, the eyebrow lights up top. Those are actually the daytime running lamps and the turn signals. So your headlights are below, uh, sharper, brighter, clearer. It's a better view at night. Let's go around the side here. Gonna be set up in the same way as the Bolt EV, actually the same powertrain, the same battery. Very similar, again, just a slightly bigger car. Uh, let's take a look inside. Let's take a look in the back first because this is something that we hear from folks sometimes when it comes to electric vehicles. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna have any room inside. They're tiny little cars. No, uh, like the Bolt EV, lots of space inside. You have a perfectly flat floor, that's huge. Uh, it means there's just much more room, much more comfort for the folks here in the back. I'm about average height, I'm about 5'10". The world is designed for people my size. Uh, I'm extremely comfortable. Lots of headroom here, there's a ton of headroom in the front too. Uh, there is that newly redesigned dashboard. Same dashboard as in the Bolt EV much cleaner, clearer, crisper, a um, little bit more grown up, a little bit more mature than the first generation Bolt itself. But we'll spend a little bit of time up there in just a second. You do have your USB ports here in the back. And again, awfully good visibility. Sometimes in some of these cars, not the Bolt, <laughs> but some other ones, you feel like you've got gun slits that you're trying to see through as you drive. Oh, did I mention, <laughs> ta-da, first time that's ever been in any of the electrical vehicles coming from GM, you do have a power sunroof. This is the Bolt EUV Premier that we're in, and you can get a power sunroof in it. Very large, very nice. In fact, I only have it half open because it's very warm outside right now today. But let's take a look up front, and let's take a closer look at that dashboard here. Oh gosh, one more thing. Never had power seats before. They now have a power driver's seat in, well, the Bolt too. Again, this is the Premier. So let's see if I can get my camera to focus. We have the nice Bose sound system, very specifically designed for these cars. Great sound, but they're designed to use less electricity. And again, that new design, starting with the new shifter, uh, which I really like. You want to put it in reverse, you want to put it in drive, you want to put it in park, done. And if you're in drive, if you're familiar with one pedal driving, there's no more low. Now you just turn it on, turn it off. That one pedal driving in this car means that it will actively brake when you take your foot off of the accelerator. It'll brake down to a full stop. Why they call it one pedal driving? Because you may find yourself really just using this all the time and not using this a whole heck of a lot. A um, couple of other things here too. Uh, first of all, I don't know, and I'm easily amused, I guess, but I love the fact that they actually have the little spot here where you can put your key if you want to. There's our wireless charging, our sport mode for people to decide the bolt doesn't go fast enough for them. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but it just makes more torque available to, for, to you right from the stop. And we do have our lane keep assist here just to keep you from drifting. There's our newly cleaned up and very easy to use automatic climate control system. Really nice. You've got your heated seats uh, here. You can adjust uh, everything for yourself too. Now I wanna point something out too, because this is really cool, especially in the Premier. Notice those three red dots, heat. Notice those three blue dots, cooled. 
cooled seats. Now that's a really, oh, and it's about 85 degrees outside and I can already feel it starting here. Now here's the thing about that. It's a really neat feature. It's very comfortable. It's also very efficient because when you are using the heated seats or you're using your heated steering wheel in the winter or you're using your cooled seats here in the summer, you are using less electricity than if you simply cranked the thermostat all the way up or all the way down. So it really just kind of makes sense there too. Uh, even kind of the Camaro inspired, inspired flat bottom for the steering wheel. Very nice. This is going to look pretty familiar if you're familiar with the bolt. Uh, a little dressier, but very similar to before, although I do notice that in the Premier they do have the miles per hour, the little speed limit sign that will come up for you as you drive, which I really like. Also on your main giant touchscreen, they clean things up here too. Simple, simple, simple. That's the whole idea. AM, FM, satellite radio. You've got your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto, which is now wireless. You can absolutely plug it in if you like, but you don't have to because it can communicate to the car via Bluetooth. Even our energy settings here, everything is much simpler. It's just easier to use, which is a kind of nice thing here. Let's take a look at the back. Um, again, you've got really that SUV shape in here too. Really great looking lines all the way around here. We're gonna pop open the back just so you can get a look at, again, what is a really nice amount of cargo space. Those seats will split and fold down. Uh, check this out too. Um, another really nice thing, the false floor. You've had the false floor in the Bolt Premieres for a while. Those are in the Bolts this year as well. You've got it in the SUV, but again, little common sense thing. Now you don't actually have to take the whole thing out. You can just fold half of it if you want to get to even more storage space underneath. Of course, the nice little screen to keep everything hidden and out of prying eyes here. Really just a good looking car. You know, design is important. Form and function at the same time. And they really knocked it out of the park with this car. And I can tell you having driven it, Certainly another thing it shares in common with the Bolt EV, they are a joy to drive. EVs, tremendous amount of torque. Uh, it's quick. It's a really beautiful, quiet ride. Just a great package all together. So the techie stuff, and I'm guilty of this too, you know, you kind of get lost in all of the amazing technological advances that they have with these vehicles, but just put that aside for a second. Take it for a spin. My God, it's fun. So if you would like to learn more about the brand new 2020 Bolt EUV, if you're watching this video on Facebook, you can click on the Learn More button. If you're watching it on YouTube, you can go to the comments below and click on the link, or better yet, Come see us. We're at 65 Windcrest Road in Rutland, Vermont. That's just off Route 7 South. Hope to see you soon.